How was it playing uh, the villain in this? It was wonderful, Mike. I've I've not done villains in my life because uh, blondes and f- fair people do not tend to be asked to be villains because we're not psychologically right for villains. I think that the the tradition in Disney has always been that the villainess be of a dark persuasion, the raven hair, whatever. But I think they want it in the vocality because Ursula turns out to have punk rock hair almost, but white. How did you change your voice? What did you? How did you work on that to get that voice so deep? I, I went home and I did vocal exercises because it is difficult, uh, even with a female voice that's lower, to go an octave lower than that and still have flexibility is very rough. So I would go home and do vocal exercises or do them before I was going to the studio to do a, a, a session of words or even singing. Did you wind up straining your voice at all? Only once. Ursula gets it in the end and there's a lot of wailing and carrying on. I had to scream for about two hours in a studio <laughs> and I don't care how much you think you're in control of your voice to do that kind of screaming for that long. I, I went home and my family said, fortunately, Mama cannot speak this <laughs> evening, so I gave them a vacation. What did you feel when you saw your own character there? It scared me. (laughs) I really did. I literally was cringing in my chair. I pulled back in my chair and I thought, oh, you old sissy, you ninny, you can't take it. My voice just went into into the box of that character up there. It's no longer me. I'm not Ursula. I don't have any tentacles. <laughs> you know? I don't have a... No, stop looking now, Mike. I do not have tentacles. That's a great laugh that you have in the movie, too. Did you have to work on that? I have one of those earthy, horsey laughs anyway, naturally. And uh, all I had to do was extend it a bit first. <laughs> it sounds like Inner Sanctum, doesn't it? Yeah, it really, really does. <laughs> no one is going to recognize you for the role because and in terms Isn't of walking down wonderful? the street but Isn't is that, that good one? marvelous for me why um because as an actor um half the fun is being anonymous to a degree because then i'm not stuck with a label i can do anything i barely well want the fact is this spring i'm playing a man i'm doing false staff in the merry wives of windsor is th- i'm doing it with a beard and mustache like you mike so there you go Oh, it might be nice to bring out Ursula every once in a while, like when you get mad or something like that. (laughs) Well, I said, a couple of people said, is there any of you in Ursula? I said, yes, probably latent hostility. You know, that I can get out in the character of this mean, with not one iota or shred of any kind of goodness in her. She's totally, oppressively horrid. And how marvelous to be able to play someone like that. You don't have to seek for approval at all. The more the audience hates me, the better job I've done. Hello, Annika. How are you, darling? It is Ursula. Oh, Annika, I'm so glad to be talking to you. Your father here is just a delightful man. Yes, he is indeed, darling. Well, I hope, sweet cakes, that you will certainly behave. Mind your mommy. Mind your daddy. And be a good girl. I'm giving you a big hug. (laughs) 